Welcome to the video from thedigitallifestyle.com. It's another one of our look at Windows 10 preview builds, and this is build 10122 for PCs that was um, announced May 20th. And uh, we're going to be looking at here on my little Toshiba tablet. So we're probably going to look at more of the tablet type features on this build. So I thought, well, I'll show you what's what's new in this build and the start screen and things like that have changed slightly and Cortana and things like that. So we'll have a look at that and uh, I'll perhaps just show some of the uh, polish that Microsoft have added. So here it is running on my tablet. And uh, first thing you'll notice, the tiles look different on here from the previous build. So you'll notice that the um, these tiles are now bigger, um, so you only get two large tiles across, but you can go for the medium sized ones, you can have the small tiles like that. So uh, you can fit sort of more, more on it if you want, but I actually like this, It's a for a tablet PC it's a nice big easy target to hit with your finger and uh, you've seen the animations and things on the start menu tiles and that looks pretty good, so I quite like that. Notice as well, is from the previous build we've lost all the extra things that were down here taking up space they're now gone and you've got hamburger menu with those settings there now so you've got your recent used file explorer and then your all apps list at the bottom and that brings that up like that so the um so you've still got access to all the apps but now they're in this collapsible menu which i think does look much better when you use it in tablet mode like that. If I take it out of tablet mode, we'll have a look at what the desktop would look like. So here on a sort of traditional start menu here, Windows 7 start menu, you've got the start button. And uh, this is actually transparent, this, but for some reason this tablet will only go with solid colour background, so you can't really see the transparency effect. Um, so you've got the choice of actually using a full screen start on in non-tablet mode if you want, but I think if you're using it on a desktop, not in tablet mode, then this looks pretty good. Then when you flick it into tablet mode, it changes it. In landscape like this, I think the tablet mode doesn't work quite as well. Uh, you do get a lot of wasted spaces on either sides there, so I think it should shuffle up really. Um, and add some extra tiles. Actually, I haven't even tested whether we can do that, so maybe we could add an extra tile there. Nope, we can't. So you see what I mean? It's a bit of wasted space there, really, when you're in landscape mode. I guess on a tablet, most people are in, in portrait mode. If you've got something like a Surface Pro 3, then maybe you would use it in that way. So back here in normal mode, with, not in tablet mode, you notice the little resizer icon that was in the previous build has gone. If you want to change that, you've got to do that in the personalization settings. And the setting there is to use the full screen start on the desktop. And uh, there's a setting for the recently used. But for me, on, the, on this device, tablet mode works best, like that, uh, in portrait mode. Another thing that's been improved is Microsoft Edge, or called Project Spartan, the new browser for Windows 10. And uh, when you get a new tab, you get this new box here. So that shows you some of your recent sites, and you can enter in a search or a, a link there. And it also shows you some um, news items from MSN News like that so you've got this sort of a start customized start page and I think Microsoft are going to update this you see we've got uh, weather and I'll get all my apps in there as all my sort of top sites in there another new feature is the ability to pin pages now so you can go into there and you've got pin to start which is good so that puts that back that previously worked in uh, Windows 8.1 and gone in uh, previous builds so you can pin web pages straight to your start page which is really handy and there's some other things there's in private mode so that doesn't um, where's I got there we go that in private mode so that doesn't record it in your history um, I think the Microsoft say that's useful for if you're buying a gift for someone you don't want it to track in history but you can imagine other, other uses for it as well so it's good to see that coming back in the um, the other thing that's added back is histories in here now so there's history from previous browsing sessions which wasn't available before it's good to see that back really they're putting all the functionality that was in Internet Explorer into here but in the new modern browser 
And also when you play audio, this little indicator shows that audio is being played. So if one of the tabs is playing audio, you can see which tab it is, which is really handy. This, this build seems nice and fast and definitely more stable than the previous build. Explorer doesn't cr crash um, as, as much as the previous builds did. Uh, but I do get the odd issue of it coming up saying that in the uh, Windows Explorer has crashed and you need to sign out um, because it's an essential service. I find you've got to reboot after that, so that is still an issue. By the way, there is a pinned, app, as, as I mentioned, a pinned website as I showed before. Another thing that's been fixed, I won't show you too much on here now, but uh, when you did Windows Update in the previous build, it would continue to tell you that you've got... Um, a graphics driver and then it would try and download it and then fail and then it would continue telling about it because it was trying to download an old driver that's been fixed in this build which is good to see and you can now edit the IPv4 properties uh, of Ethernet adapter in here there's a fix for um, text looking blurry on high DPI displays which is good and uh, there's some shortcut controls that are now working in at the Edge browser like Control L and Control D uh, look better, and also they've made that more readable. They say so, which I think it probably is. Now there are some issues with this. Uh, if you're using an AMD GPU, then you shouldn't install this. Microsoft say that uh, uh, the project spot on the browser will crash repeatedly. So you may be better if, if if you do have an AMD GPU. It doesn't matter about the CPU, just the GPU. Then you should stick to slow ring for now until the next uh, update comes out. So that's a very quick look at this new build. You can look at our other videos and see some of the previous builds and see how work is progressing. The fit and finish looks better on this, the reliability looks better and um, the UI is definitely improving it as well. So overall uh, it's looking a much better operating system uh, than it was in the last few builds. Not quite ready for prime time yet but they're getting there. I expect we'll get new builds and you can see those on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com.